Greetings to everyone. My name is Diana Duran Lopez. I am a member of the Chief Medical Office within Puerto Rico's Department of Health. We appreciate the opportunity to participate in this year's Public Health Summit. Our poster is titled Distribution and Implementation of COVID-19 Therapeutics in Puerto Rico. The Food and Drug Administration has approved multiple products under an emergency use authorization for both inpatient and outpatient use to manage COVID-19 infections. In November of 2020, the first monoclonal, Bamlanivimab, was approved under its EUA, following Regeneron, Bamlanivimab, combined with Etisevimab and Citrovimab. In December of 2021, Paxlovid and Monopiravir were the first two and only oral antivirals approved under their EUAs. Later following was Evusheld and Bevtilovimab. These therapies have been an essential tool to prevent disease severity in patients with underlying medical conditions. The Office of the Chief Medical Officer and the Office of Public Health Preparedness and Response at the Puerto Rico's Department of Health developed a medical countermeasures plan to ensure equal access to COVID-19 treatments. Factors affecting an individual's access to care and regional positivity rates were considered during dispensing and expansion of operations. Since December of 2020, Puerto Rico has administered over 5,500 monoclonal treatments and over 2,000 antiviral courses have been dispensed. In Puerto Rico, the three tools used to ensure equitability and access were education, capacity building, and expansion. The chief medical office focused on the development of standardized protocols, development of databases, trainings, provider expansion, monthly reports, and the development of culturally appropriate educational materials. We have adapted over 10 protocols to Spanish and in a culturally appropriate language. We have conducted over 15 trainings across distinct audiences, from public health officials to municipal epidemiologists, associates across the board, and the general public. We have developed educational resources such as videos, brochures, table of comparisons, and algorithm charts to facilitate the understanding of what COVID-19 therapeutics are and which one is best per patient. The Office of Public Health Preparedness and Response facilitated treatment assignment and allocations distribution and GIS mappings. During the allocation process, an extensive evaluation was conducted in order to prioritize the areas throughout the jurisdiction that needed to be impacted first. This analysis was conducted focusing on positivity rate, vulnerable populations within limited healthcare access. Puerto Rico's Department of Health established collaborations within other programs and offices of the Department of Health to offer COVID-19 treatments to vulnerable populations. Within these populations, we have attended long-term care facilities as well as correctional institutes and shelters. As a result of this, since December of 2020, Puerto Rico has administered over 5,500 treatments within 25 hospitals and clinics and six infusion centers. We have over 230 pharmacies within all 78 municipalities dispensing antivirals. To date, over 2,000 antivirals have been dispensed. On the right-hand side, under panel A, we provide a visual. It's a mapping of where our monoclonal facilities are established for each healthcare region, as well as on the right-hand side of that is a second map that represents where antivirals are being dispensed throughout the island. One of our proudest moments has been to successfully establish a treatment center in our remote island of Vieques. As you can see in section B, under equal access, one of our nurses in Vieques is administering the very first monoclonal treatment on the island. To the left of that photo, there's a photo of two of our team members who participated in a health fair offering therapeutics education in our rural community of La Perla. During this initiative, we went door to door and we offered educational materials to those who weren't able to leave their home. We are proactively expanding providers to ensure accessibility for our communities. 
To the right, there is a photo of our first testing to treatment site location in Hospital Ramon Ruiz Arnau in Bayamón. Here in Puerto Rico, we established our very first treatment center during our December surge of Omicron. During one of our toughest times, we were able to administer over a thousand treatments, many of which were administered in our treatment site. Our test to treat program continues to expand as we onboard providers to our test to treat program. We continue to offer new resources for our public, such as special care pharmacies, who will be delivering to the home of a patient and long-term care facilities. We continue to establish collaborations within public health associations in order to expand therapeutics education to new audiences. These efforts have been successful thanks to the extensive collaborations with Puerto Rico's Department of Health, Biosecurity's Office, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, and the very well Hospital Universitario Ramon Ruiz Arnau.